Jerry Season Food door says that it's open on Thursdays from 8 until, but there's a lock on the door. Now, we don't know if this business is closed for good, but we do know that this is what it looked like inside when the state auditor's office came to investigate. But the things that teenagers have their eyes set on now are these caffeine pills. In past elections, Mississippi voters have only had to have proof of voter registration. But starting with the June 3rd primary, they'll also have to have some type of photo identification. I'm Margaret Ann Morgan. The news starts now. It's been two weeks since Hattiesburg's mayor was found in contempt of court. Now he wants that finding reversed. Well, the recent bird flu outbreak means the price of eggs is going up. Last week, the USDA said fewer eggs will be produced this year. They say April showers bring me flowers. What a May shower! What a May shower spring! Lots and lots of flowers in June. Great, That's hopefully right. so. Yeah. Oh yeah. gosh! Well, you know, and all I can think about, I'm going to two weddings this weekend. Ooh. All these poor brides. How many fish can they eat in the morning? This is not my type of breakfast. I love sushi, <laughs> but you know, raw it's fish all. They eat about four pounds a day. They normally eat for us along? about three of these herring, which is probably about two pounds. I don't know if she's interested. Maybe. There we go. All right. A Christmas Eve here in Columbia spent in complete devastation and literal darkness in many of the places as power is still not restored. Two lives lost here in Columbia yesterday and so many tonight thankful to be alive. I was leaving work, thought I was able to make it home before the storm. And as I was headed home, I ran into the tornado. Wanda Cotton escaped the tornado in the parking lot of this tire store next to the dialysis unit. Both now destroyed. She says it was because of this ambulance that fell on her car that she's alive. I was just hollering out to God, just God, don't let me die. God, just shelter me. They both pulled off the highway at the same time, the wind blowing them across the lot. Oh, I, I just thank God for the ambulance. I think that what kept me held down from being caught up into the tornado. On the other side of the highway in the Oak Crest trailer park, Mary Jane Sarton was killed inside her mobile home that now sits at the bottom of this pile. Her neighbor, Mr. Garcia, picking up the pieces of his home. He's completely destroying here. It's sad. His business is gone too, but his family, oh, they're okay. All my family is fine, don't worry, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> but, you know, just... All the Just down the road, another tragedy. Amber Sumrall, daughter, wife, and most recently, the mother of a one-year-old boy, died in the storm inside the salon where she worked. Her business neighbors picking up what's left of their storefronts. Surrounded by family, friends, love, and reminders that tomorrow, while not the Christmas they imagined, is a new day. I have a warrant for your arrest, Ms. Morgan. What? Yes, ma'am, I do. For what? Fraud. Fraud. What do you mean? Keisha Howard of Jones County, just one of eight women arrested for food stamp fraud, totaling nearly $75,000. This is a taxpayer, 100% taxpayer funded program. And that's what we do, and we try to be a good steward of so the taxpayer dollars. Ken Palmer, head of fraud investigation for the Mississippi Department of Human Services, says this investigation started one year ago, and there are other investigations in Jones County. Did you commit food stamp fraud? Are you on food stamps? Amanda Black, Kimberly Hogan, Jalicia Haynes, Melissa Mapp, Cindy Delgado Hernandez, Keisha Howard, Angela Pitts, and Corey Holloman have all been charged with welfare and Medicaid fraud, with bonds set at seven thousand five hundred dollars. Ma'am, have you ever used the, the food stamp system? I don't get food stamps. Have you ever gotten food stamps? It's on you. Watch your step. The benefits are there to help people. That's that's what they're for. But they. Uh, they're there to help in the right way. 22% of Mississippians receive assistance through the SNAP program. That's more than $938 million in benefits. Ma'am, have you been uh, illegally using the money for no food stamps? No. You never have? No. Palmer says when applicants report their income and dependents, DHS uses the honor system, which begged the question, is that system flawed? I mean, does DHS see a need to maybe do it a different way so there won't be the opportunity to commit this type of problem? Don't see that at this time. Uh, again, uh, uh, you know, again, the application is about as clear as you can get.